detail tracks are rows of information that can be displayed or hidden as desired in the overview and sequences view the header footer and individual sequence rows can each display certain types of tracks the tracks panel lets you specify which tracks to display in the overview and the sequences view the tracks panel can be opened by clicking on the tracks tab or you can open it by using the view tracks tracks command Different subsets of track types are available, depending whether the project contains DNA, RNA, or protein sequences, as is the case here. These tracks are organized into categories, depending which views and locations they pertain to. By default, certain tracks are displayed, while others are hidden. Put check marks next to tracks that you wish to display, and remove check marks next to tracks that you wish to hide. Tracks are added to the views in the same order in which their boxes are checked in the Tracks panel. Editing of track parameters is handled through the Options bar located at the bottom of the Tracks panel. To open the Options bar for a particular track type, click on the Expand bar labeled Options, and then select the type of track from either the Tracks panel or from the Sequences view or the Overview. Alternatively, you can right-click on a track in one of the views and choose Show Track Options. Note that some tracks, in particular the rulers, do not have any options. For tracks with options, you can change them as desired by adjusting the height sliders, changing the numerical values, or choosing a new color scheme by clicking on the color box and choosing from the color picker. When you change track options, they're instantly updated and saved. You can also revert back to the default options by clicking the Restore Default Settings button. Now we'll go to the Sequences view to see how tracks are controlled there. This pertains equally to the overview, but due to the limited screen space in this video, I've chosen to expand the sequences view to take up most of the screen. To see the detailed tracks that were checked in the tracks panel, you first need to expand the tracks. This can be done by clicking on the plus icons or by right clicking on a track and choosing expand. And to expand all of the rows, you can right click and choose expand all. To hide a particular track type for all the sequences in the view, right-click on it and choose Hide Track. Note that doing this removes the check mark from the Tracks panel. To change the order of the tracks, you can drag a track label to the desired position among the other tracks and drop it there. Finally, note that some tracks can change dynamically in response to the zoom level being used. For example, once you zoom out past a certain point, both the sequence residues and the sequence logo track will change from letters to color blocks.